Hey everybody, welcome to the JMP. We're gonna see what this governor of New York has to say to uh Miss Sunny and um let's see what happens. Let's go with the flow. While crimes on New York City subways, right? Um, you deployed hundreds of state police and national guard troops into the subway system. Um, but since the pandemic, you have done a wonderful job. Overall, crime is down in the city. Yes, it is. So my, my question to you is why now? Why deploy into the subway? And, and how do you respond to some of your fellow Democrats calling the move theatrics that play into Republican narratives that blue cities are poorly run war zones? I'm not buying it. I'm not buying okay. it. My job is to keep people safe. I have to keep any way I can. I'm going to keep New Yorkers safe. And I'll tell you who does show appreciation for the people out there on the streets. Mm -hmm. I've been walking the streets. I walk into business. People are just saying. She has not been walking the streets. Why do these politicians be lying for? They're... There's no footage of her walking the streets. And if there is, please provide it. Because she has not been walking or talking to people in the New York streets. Let's continue. Saying thank you for taking such strong action. Now, you are correct that working with Mayor Adams since I've been mayor, uh, since I've been governor, uh, we have driven down crimes. You know, mm -hmm. homicides yeah. are down about 30%, shootings down about 38%. The subways have been safer, but we had a spike recently, yes. a 45% increase mm -hmm. in subway crimes. Now, these are high profile crimes. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah. Because the CEO of the MTA says that 1% of subway suspects are responsible for more than 20% of the crime right. because of New York's bail reform laws, okay. which allows them to go back out there and commit more crimes. I'll get to bail in one second. I'm going to answer this one because. What happened is, is I needed to do something dramatic and quickly mm. to send a message that you will not get away with committing crimes in our subways. You cannot slash the throat. Of that face of hers is just... Is it me or is nothing moving? There's not a Botox in that place. Right? But conductor, you cannot push someone out of the truck because people will not take the subway if they don't feel safe. That's job number one. So <laughs> She is as stiff as a motherfucker. <laughs> her face is just a flexing. How can you trust somebody that doesn't flex their face? I don't understand that. Like, how do you watch watch, watch closely? Like, she's moving her mouth, but the rest of her face ain't moving. They are not there to harass anybody. They, I said, I don't like those long guns. They're kind of threatening to stand there. I said, smile at everybody. Welcome them to the subway. These are moms and dads. The National Guard yes. are just our citizens who've stepped up. So, mm -hmm. so I will do that any day of the week. I take criticism the second I wake up in the morning until I go to bed at night, and I don't care. My job is to protect New Yorkers, and that's one way to okay, do it. Okay, so what about uh, this? Yeah. What about this? There, there's like a circle of... of that's why on. last yeah. year yeah. I inherited from my predecessor and the legislature before. <clears throat> they took the bail laws and watered them down and made it impossible for judges to look at the whole picture of the crime and the person, what they're doing. So I worked hard last year. I held the budget up one month late. I wanted to be on time. You can brag about being on time. I was not going to be on time because I had more leverage after April 1st. So last year I held up the budget. I got the changes I needed. Judges now have discretion. They can look at the whole issue. They can look at whether a gun was involved. Was there an order of protection? We have to protect the victims of domestic yeah. violence. My mother was a champion for victims of domestic there, violence. But there was just a crime in Long Island where body parts were yeah. found all over Long Island. They had four suspects. They let them go. Right. And right. now they're out there still. So what, what no. is the deal here? Right, right. It sounds you, insane to no, me. Though no, the crime that was brought was not what was bail eligible. Yes, murder is. Yes, conspiracy to commit murder is. Yes, assault is bail eligible. All those are. I know that the DA is working really hard with the Suffolk County Police Department to build the case they need to build, bring the charges that are necessary. The charges he brought, he did not have enough evidence at time to so hold them. You can't them. hold them. Not on the no, charges he not, brought, no, not, but those are low-level charges. They really weren't. And we can work to make those bail eligible in the next session, but I changed the law. It only went into effect last May, by the way. So, so we've, we've had a real drop in recidivism since I've been governor. Everyone talks about this, yeah. down 45%. This whole thing, this congestion pricing, I don't understand. Okay. Because... Let's go at it. Because at the it. mayor, because New Yorkers did not mess up the streets. We had used to have four lane mm -hmm. avenues. We had ways to get around. You could get, it might've taken a long time because we have big trucks, but you could get around. The idea of having to pay, mm -hmm. I'm a lifelong New Yorker. The idea of having to pay to go from point A to point B, 
sure. without really having the conversation, only to see those things go up anyway, it made me feel like nobody was listening. Nobody said, hey, maybe we should not have put all of these the bike, bike lanes, lanes yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Maybe we should and not have gotten... parking got, lanes. Yes, not, and, and you can't get around now. You can't, you can't get to Broadway in time unless you leave the day before. You only have 30, <laughs> you have 30 seconds. You know, so I, I know we don't have any more time, and I, I want to say thank you, and maybe you and I can talk about That's this, good. but Let's this is it. a huge, okay. this is a huge deal because I can af- Why well, bring up a topic that you know you don't have time for? I don't understand this. Like, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This governor pretty much said nothing. She had no real true answer. Her face is stiff. We'll be bringing up a topic that this governor doesn't have no time to answer properly. And you know what? It's more of a New York thing. The rest of America really doesn't care or understand how New York works. So, yeah, this this was just. I hate these type of shows because they're not nuanced enough. Like, I want to see governors. I want to see true politicians on proper podcasts where they can be held accountable and have these long form conversations we can get true fucking answers. These, these little talk shows, you get seven minutes of whatever. I'm done with it, man. JMP out. You know what you do with that subscribe button. Smack that bitch. Peace.